Hey yo guys, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're doing great guys. So in case if you don't know me, my name is Chumza Chani. So I come with another bank guys. Uh, last time I was interviewing the, the guy uh, uh, about uh, 26, uh, 27, 28. So today guys, uh, I'm I'm interviewing the guy that I'm interviewing the guy that is 28. So guys, he does a lot of things. I hope you got to enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can grow. Or oh, every time that I upload the video, you can be the first person to receive my video. Thank you so much. I love you all. Hey, how are you, brother? I'm alright, brother. Good, 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 good. Um, hey guys, uh, my name is Chungzana Janye. If you are new on my YouTube channel, please subscribe and comment and share. Guys, today I'm with uh, one of my brother here. I want to share his uh, uh, experience of uh, life he's been living. So, guys, stay tuned, guys. The new bang is coming. So, my brother, how are you? I'm fine, uh, uh, maybe you have to introduce yourself. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Benedict Jordan. Benedict? Benedict Jordan. Benedict Jordan. Benedict. Benedict. B -E -N -E -D -I -C -T. Oh, Benedict. Okay. Benedict right. Jordan. I'm uh, 56 years old. Okay. Uh, I'm single. Yes. And uh, I stay here in PE. Okay, you, you are single. You don't have a kid. I you do have, have kids. Oh, you have a kid. I got nine kids. Nine kids? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I was a little bit very rough when I was young. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's it. So, okay. Tell us uh, about your life. Yeah, I had an ordinary life, simple. Mm -hmm. Not too difficult, you understand? But uh, at the late stage in the 30s, when I was 31 years old, I started experimenting with drugs. Okay. And that leads to a problem and to another problem. I said, yes. in the end of the problem, I end up in jail. You end up in jail? Yes, because I start uh, to get money for my uh, hobby. I was using drugs. You understand? Okay. I start shoplifting. After shoplifting, I start something else again. It was getting more and bigger and bigger. Eventually, I was caught for the shoplifting. Mm. I get a suspended sentence. The guy said, okay. I go on, I go on, for no peer pressure, but... Okay, you, you, get, uh, you, you get arrested. How many sentences will be arrested? First, I get three years. Three years. And then another five years. And then uh, you come out after that yes. three years. And then you do uh, other stuff again. I don't know yeah, what you, what did you did to be uh, arrested uh, uh, five years again. What did you do? Same crime, shoplifting. Shoplifting? Yes. Oh, okay. So, uh, how about in jail? How about in jail the time that you're in jail? Hey, my friend, for me to go on the age of 37 to go to jail is not nice. I don't know the things and all that. I have to learn new things, you see. Mm. There's very, uh, a lot of pressure there. You have to adjust and the decision you make must be very right because anything can happen. You can get stabbed, you can get raped, you understand? Okay. Uh, this is not a nice place. So I, I don't recommend even my enemy mm. to end up there, but they say that's a place you can't say never. Do you understand? But if you live a beautiful life, I I think you can't you won't end up there. Do you understand? All right, all right, all right. So how um uh after that because you was at uh, uh, the time you say you are you was uh, thirty five, right? Yeah. So after that, the time you finish that uh, sentence of five years, did you, you come out? Yeah. What did happen? Well, I went again into crime because I maintain my to maintain my hobby. Like I said, I use drugs, yes. and then now I got no experience of the prison. I feel now I'm okay because I was not forced to, but I have no other choice to join the number. The person, you see. So okay, uh, are you? Uh, are you, uh, which number are you? Uh, 28. You are 28. Yes. So you want, you want people they want to know how uh, 28 operating, how do you operate in jail? Or when you are in jail or when you are outside, how do you operate? Because people, 
the used to have 26, I mean 28, there's a 27, there's a 26. So people that don't know how uh, you guys are operating, how do you operate? How that number operates? Yeah, almost the same. It's only the message is different. Only the see, message is the, different. The, the, the message. Like a 27, the other people are black. 26 is a private. They can't work with your mind. You see, 28, I've got private and you've got company, you see. So uh, we got different ways how how you do it or to get things. Mm -hmm. You only pay when you're in prison. There's a way you do uh, things. But in outside, you don't do the same thing. But uh, how we work is different. Okay, tell me. So when you that number is working only in jail, when you are outside, it doesn't work. It does work. You have to enforce it, but sometimes outside the uh, guys who got a number, they abuse it or they use power. Like if they know you're scared, you see, or they, or they pull their rank. Like for instance, I'm I'm a Mabalang. I'm at Gunya four four. You see, if I know this one is under me, I call him. I skill him to get maybe money or drugs from him, you understand? Because I know yeah, you, you call a friend, you, you understand? So the number is not usually any advantage, it's a disadvantage. You understand? So I don't recommend anyone, if they do go there, to take the number because there's no advantage in it. It's all a skill and really, it's a lie. Okay. You understand? I only went there to survive because, like I said to you, my age, Mm. Time, my first time when I go to prison, I was already a, a grown man. Do you understand? Yes. I was not sick or whatever, but I mean grown. I mean, uh, how can a child tell me, but I had no other choice. Otherwise, I was slapped around or raped, whatever, do you understand? Yeah. Lucky for me, I did new people who go in there. So they did tell me, but the pieces. So I operate with that. Tell the day I take the number, say, hey, come, because I was far. I was in the Western Cape, you see? Yes. I didn't get anyone to come visit me in that town, you see? But mostly now in prison, they seeking their things, rentals. It's all about the money, the property, what you have, you understand? Okay. It's not what your mind. It's like you're going to be an asset to the number. No. No, it's an asset that means you're going to get something there. We're going to phone, mm. we're going to smoke drugs, because this one get work call or whatever, or get money, people supporting, you understand? So uh, yeah, you mean that, 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 that this number is for you to survive to get something that size yes, of the child? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's okay. like a protection if you uh, understand the number and you you work with the number and all that, and it's like a protection, a shield for you. Then you can can come somewhere or go somewhere. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. So how do you get the number? How do you mean how? How do you get that number? You just uh, 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 call it to yourself, oh, I'm 26, or I'm 28, uh, no. or I'm 27. Yeah, like for instance, you're going to hear me now. Hey, there's people, they, uh, like this, they're looking for money, you see. They go, and you're going to say, do you want to be there or there, you see. Me, I got the reason why I want to be at 28, because that was the eldest, the first and the last, mm. you see. And me, I went to prison, I was the elder, already a grown man. Okay, so I want the the thing that I'm I'm asking. I want you to know is about how do you get that number? How do you get it? Who who give you that number? They understand that is what people they want to know. How do you get it? Because okay, if 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 myself maybe I go to jail today, mm. I can tell them okay, I'm twenty six. No, you can't hear them to the So, okay. There's a procedure. Okay, that, that is what people they want to know. I, but I can't tell you the procedure. You see? Uh, that is like a, I'm a revealing a secret. You see? Uh, I'm honest now with you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, to chat or anything or ask, but I can't reveal the secret because this thing is not something you pick up or you just learn because sometimes you must go step at the, okay. the, the award and you see? To get the number. Not the number, actually. Like maybe for... You see, that's the, actually the thing what I'm telling you now is not the right thing I'm doing because I'm revealing something of the, of, of the camp, you see? The, the wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. So, okay. Uh, now, to be honest, I don't want to make a negative effect mm. on what, but I can tell the viewers really my experience mm. and uh, the experience I had. 
I benefit nothing out of it because I'm now at the moment more backwards. I'm starting to get in forward because uh, I realize now, no man, there's no asset, you see, in this thing. Mm. Whether you're 26 or whether you're 27 or 28, if you want to be a gangster, really, mm. that thing counts for you. Or you active in crime, that thing counts for you. Okay, if you do a big crime, like, crime? I mean, a big you, crime. You, if you, 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 you do a crime, maybe you go and uh, rob by, by uh. bank, you know, by, by the shops. Mm. So, so is the, how do you, you get the number that, oh, that one is a hero. You go and they are no, robbed. No, it's not a crime that counts. It's where your heart is. The people will come tell you. Mm. There will be somebody, like inspector, will, t- will come to you and tell you, well, well, this, this and this. And you will make the decision because you're going to work for them. If once you sign on, mm. I, there's no way out, you know? That thing is stays forever by you. Okay, because there's some people used to say, they say, uh, if maybe you want to get a number, you have to step maybe the, the CEO in the... In ah, the, in no the, way, my friend. I don't tell you like Way back in the years, it was like that. At the beginning. Okay. Now in the modern time, it's not that like that. It's not like that. Uh uh-uh. The only time when you're gonna have to step uh. is maybe you're gonna get these things like right? The stars. Yeah, yeah, I know the stars, the gunyas. Yeah, it, it, it means it's the gunyas, the yeah. stars. Yeah, they can yeah. score you. Yeah. Nah, I, I don't I, like I said to you, I don't like to lie, and I, I will tell you if I can't answer that thing. And I got the reason why, and I'm gonna back up with the. The reason you understand, okay. but it's not that thing to get the number now. You must go stay the one eye, mm. then you're never gonna come out of prison. Okay, in your life, since you've been in the street, okay, you never kill anyone, my friend. No, unfortunately, I'm not that type. You see, mm. we are more private guy. I like to work with the mind. That is the only skill I develop more, and that makes me smarter. But I'm not bragging about it, but. It's not like I said to you, there's no issue. Rather be honest, put God in front of you, mm. and let God show you the way, you understand? So, uh, it doesn't matter what I say, because I got nothing to show. Yeah, the number give me this. Yeah, the number saved me plenty of times, and I don't get hurt. Mm. Or oh, the number was like, I saw something, hey, this guy's gonna hurt me now, or whatever, you understand? Yes. Good for that, but to get that experience, uh, I was in person. So okay. I had to, I did pay, pay the number something like you understand, to to get that knowledge to see outside to survive. You see, oh, right, yeah. Right. And uh, when you come out of person, the people they know you, and there's some line of respect. You see, oh, they start sketching you. Yes. Okay. Yes, <laughs> so uh, after. So okay now, what what uh, uh, because the, the uh, young young boys here in the street, there are lots of young boys that drop a school, starting mm-hmm. entering the drugs. Ah, yeah, man. So because you are uh, 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 older, also you got a kid. Yes, so, man. I will you, say to the, the young folks, man. Uh, really, really, there's no drug or substance you can use that you can say you can handle. Yeah, every substance has its own effect on different people. But man, let me tell you, by starting experiment, uh. I did a mistake. Please, boys and girls, children, grown men, stay away from that thing. There's no thing as you can use it or benefit and say now you can maintain the habit by ever any substance, even to make your eyes bigger, high or low, whatever it has. One day you're gonna be hooked on it. You understand? Mm. So my recommendation is out of experience. I it broke up family, broke up marriages, marriages with me, me and my wife. Are you broke up with your wife because yeah. of drugs. Yes, because of the drugs. I get another hobby. I I got girls. I entertained girls, mm. I was naughty, you understand? I lost my job because of the drugs. There's plenty of things. Oh. And it's not drugs only that is a problem. Any substance that don't belong in your, your body system is wrong, like wine, anything. Because the Bible says, even wine, 
drink one of the medicine, no medicine to do the So things that don't suit, belong in it, don't use it. And choose the right people. Surround yourself with people that is there to lift you up, not to hold you down. Do you understand? Mm. Because nowadays I don't know what is going on, but really uh, life is not just there. You get small kids that don't go to school. Mm. Their mother and father don't get it. They say, to me, now you don't want to go, uh, you don't want to, go to school. Me, uh, it's not that I'm a big, I fucking kick him with his ass. Do you understand? Mm. Your mother and father are there to look after you. You are there to obey the rules. What? Is? Like you tell them about the steps in, that you know yeah, that will get you there. That one. So now, my brother, um, uh, like now, so how do, do, do you want, uh, like, uh, you don't think like changing your life and uh, start go out looking for work and. Uh, have a better life, go, uh, go back to stay with your family like yeah, before. Kaba. I have that dream and wish. I pray for that. Mm. I want to change my life. I already changed, but I must give somebody, I must get a chance to prove me up my age. It's difficult to get a job, a permanent job, because the companies, they don't invest in old people. You understand? Mm. And I got a leg problem. I was ran over there by the, the freeway. Okay. All that, uh. Because of this nonsense things, the drugs and all that, that they use and the number shit, you understand? Uh. But uh, I pray every day and I, I pray for the youngest upcomings. They mustn't do that, go that way. You understand? There's nothing in for them there. Uh. Me, I can't, I don't know how to, to explain to you and emphasize to them. Once you make that part, uh. high is difficult. To come back because you're loving a delusion. That thing, drug that you delusion, like saying, No, I'm gonna be that and that and that. Uh. It's rather that you don't that you don't realize afterwards it's changing your thinking and your ways, but not to the better, it's for the wrong. Yeah, okay. So now uh, I heard that uh, 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 most uh, colored people, uh, a gang. A gang is like a, to them it's like a catcher. Is that true? Because every every card wants to be a gang. No, it's uh, like my 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 view. Uh. Well, you said you are be other other people. They got the reason why they turn it. But my view, uh. I can't be a culture. I know what is a culture. You understand? Uh. That is your beliefs, and your beliefs goes with your character. You understand? Uh. Your morals, what you will do, what you will not do. Like I said. No, I got morals. I can't say that thing or I can't do that thing. Do you understand? Uh. Because if you say uh, gang, to be a gangster is a culture, then everyone will be a gangster. The only way how they get it is maybe the cousin and the father, the cousin that they were in the past and again. Now they not the about the, the family. They want a way to enforce respect, or whatever. Uh. Do you understand? Uh. It's all all because the way they love the poor. We are poor now. They, want to get uh, rich first, they don't want to be work for the white man. But it's better to go work. Much better than rather be your own boss when you think you're your own boss. You are going to do a bad thing. <coughs> you know what? Mm. I said the other day to other guy, you know why the foreigners, mm. they, 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 they survive here? Yes. They are disciplined by when they start something. Now we are not disciplined. Uh, and then we say, ah, this foreigners take our job, they are cheap labor. No! The people take two, three things on. But they are disciplined. If you are disciplined, uh, ah, you can achieve very far. You can, must be focused on things, one thing, you understand? You must be surrounded with positive people. You can't, uh, for instance, if I'm sitting with people who drink and I don't drink. If other people come in, they're going to say, I also drink, whether they saw me or not saw me, because I'm searching. Mm. Okay? So, uh, my advice is, uh, find the group that you feel comfortable, that likes what you like. Then you will grow, inside and outside. Mm. Because beauty comes from outside. From inside, actually, sorry, sorry. Not outside. So it doesn't matter if you wear a pair of Nikes or whatever. 
It doesn't make you a person. So okay, like I, I, as a, a, a grown, a grown man, how do you uh, 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 advise uh, people that uh, uh, that they don't have a job right now? Uh, like maybe uh, start their own business, like you know, like yeah. uh, like you see when you go by the streets here everywhere here in South Africa, yeah. you're gonna find so many foreigners. The one they are doing all those small small jobs. What about the uh, the locally? Maybe the, the you know, those whatever, that who uh, don't have a job. I was I I was in the street. I was staying three four years on the street, and uh, I learned many things. Mm. There's so simple things that is money. You don't have to actually to go hungry. Don't have to be rich, but I can guarantee you, yes. you don't need to go see hungry. If you just love yourself, like I said, discipline, commitment, the thing I'm gonna pick up that things there. Mm. That thing I said it there. Simple things are money. If you go in a black bag, really I can tell you, mm. the people you gonna be amazed what stuff the people pay for money. Me, I, I did it to survive. Okay. I didn't eat out of a black bag, physically food there, but items, bottles, you get bottles there, uh, plastic, cardboard, all the many things are, I was saying, there's people that sell things away, that is still the right, mm. but I know that maybe insurance or they get too much money, you understand, it's just the effort and your mindset, so really I, I want to reach out and tell the younger people, and even the, 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 the younger people who don't, who don't uh, have work, there is work if you can work for yourself if you want to work. You understand? Yes. There you can see the foreigners. Learn from them. And if you if you if you really want to something maybe up or you will reach out for your you understand? Mm. If they see how you're serious. But me, I don't recommend my enemy to use or to experiment drugs. It, in the end, you will end up in prison. Mm -hmm. No matter how or what, you will end up. Whether it's by mistake, mm -hmm. when you come on the next day, but you will there. You see? Yes. Really because of the substance. I wish uh, yeah, so all that thing can go away. Because really it is a bad effect. Mm -hmm. I'm not blaming the foreigners who steal the drug. No. They want to love you, your decision, if you want to go buy and use it, you understand? Mm. Me as Benny tell you, hi, it's a bad experience. That was a, one of my worst, worst mistakes I make the day when I, oh, I went to go buy drugs, mm. really. Because no. I didn't see me by myself, that my life would turn this way at that age, and now, I'm trying now. Mm. To get up, I'm still crawling, but I'm trying. I just thank God, I put him in my life, and my life can go right. That's all. Thank you, boss. Okay, so yeah, guys, I hope you you heard him what he say. Uh, I thank you so much uh, for those who's gonna keep subscribing. Uh, I'm gonna keep uh, for keep update for more videos like this uh, which is encourage uh, young people to not going into drugs yeah thank you so much guys yo